Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm about to meet Sonia for the first time. What Wait, the what fuck? The There's fuck? so much water. Uh, okay. The yeah. cop is literally just staring at it. Like, um, yo. Wow. <laughs> I'm calling the police. Damn, it is beautiful. Oh, look at the waves! Oh my god, the waves! Waves! We're at this beautiful view, this mm -hmm. majestic place that she just took me to. It's so nice. And the sun is setting right by this mountain, so we're gonna go on a light little hike mm -hmm. and then get some food. And my hat is like on the ground, so shout out <laughs> the outfit for today. I'm always wearing a hat because this is actually my mom's. This is my mom's shirt, too. It looks so good. <laughs> Thank it's you. Stylish. Oh my god, you're getting so close. We're in this um, burnt down house area, which is so cool. Larry. <laughs> I like it a lot. Sonia was telling her vlog that she always wanted a tarantula, and I guess that's why she's like into this, but. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, this was someone's living room right here. Imagine what happened on the ground that we're standing yeah. on. Just taking off the oils. Oil haul. <laughs> my favorite thing. <laughs> Pretty decent. Ooh, Not too nice. bad. <laughs> Imagine that became a thing on YouTube. <laughs> like, okay guys, today I'm going to measure how much oil's on my face and we're going to be doing an oil haul. I know, make art out of it. <laughs> that would actually be pretty cool. Yeah. This is uh, my oil haul. Oh, it's pretty... You have like no oil. <laughs> well, it's because I'm not trying to wipe off my makeup, yeah. so I'm like. Your face is really matte, though. I think it did oh, the job. Thank you. <laughs> this is random. Do you guys like this little nose ring that I put in? It, it just looks so good. It has no balls on it, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. People hate on my nose ring so much. Oh, why? On the subject, they're like, "Get that shit out of your nose. You look like a cow." I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> Cows are cute. Vegan approved. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Yeah, cows are adorable. <laughs> I love that. I love cows. <laughs> um, yeah, I fucking love this. Thank you so much for taking me oh here. Oh my gosh, of course. This whole experience is... So cool. The lighting is so good. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Dude, why are there so many fireplaces here? I guess... I mean, that's how people kept warm. Yes. <laughs> Back in the day. There's like two here, and then there was like three down there. Yeah, and that kind of looks like a fireplace too. They also had to cook food over the fires, so... That's true, yeah. This house was built in 1901 by Sir... I forget his name, actually. But then it burned down, and then he rebuilt it out of brick, and I guess it burned down again. <laughs> I thought the brick one stayed intact. Oh no, the other one over there was the one that stayed intact. I don't know about this one. Oh, okay. Welcome to my home. Here is the garden. <laughs> this is what a uh, lavish LA house would be looking like. Oh yeah, this is what you can get for, I think, a little under a million. Yeah, one um, mil, about. Yeah, fully furnished. <laughs> uh, outdoor patio. It comes with pets, you know, you got the tarantulas. Yeah. Coyotes. So... I hiked you for like an hour? Probably longer. I think more. I don't know. Okay, this is gonna take me a while to figure out. Everything looks so good. So good. Look at that bitch. And I got you whatever you're getting. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Yeah, because you, you drove. So much. You drove like two hours. <laughs> it's um, so good. I don't mind. I like okay. treating people. Oh my god. Wow. Me and Sonia. Like yeah, you no, know, it's fucking egg and the cheese. Wow. Um, me and Sonia are splitting the Santa Fe chicken sandwich and the burger. This is the Beyond Burger, which I'm trying for the first time. I'm so excited. Oh Kale soup because I wanted to have some health. And wow. This is so. I'm like so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited to be sharing this meal. Damn, she thick. <laughs> burger edition. A pretzel bun, which I've never had before. Okay, guys. This is my very first bite. Oh my god, there's fucking jalapenos. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Mm. <laughs> Gotta add the hot sauce. This one's usually my go-to. Mm. Hey guys, we are we on the freeway right now? Yeah, we are. Sonia is driving on the <laughs> freeway. I 
iconic. I'm sitting in Sonia's car, Bjorn. Oh my gosh. On the freeway, yeah. Wow, I'm oily. I feel like the food, the, all the oils from the food I just ate, like, went onto my face. Oh my God, no, you literally <laughs> But yeah, so we're just on the way back to hers. And then I'm gonna go back to my place, my mom's place, and probably pass out. Hi guys. I fell asleep in my makeup last night. Pretty mad about it because that's so bad for your skin. I'm pretty sure it's like 6 a.m. Yeah, it's 6 a.m. right now. I wake up every single morning, 6.23 a.m. I am up. I go to the bathroom and then I can't go back to sleep and then I'm so tired like later in the day like why did I wake up at 6 a.m. and it's just a thing that happens every single day and I'm like all right better embrace this better start going to sleep earlier and not falling asleep with your makeup girl look at this zit oh my god it's like <laughs> like Eric Foreman's zit from that 70s show when it's picture day and it literally starts talking to him and has a face I'm just like what up dude like What's going on? You gonna leave anytime soon? And he's just, he's just like, nah. Um, I feel like I had crazy dreams, can't remember them. Also feel like I haven't actually spoken to you in a while, so what up? What's going on? I have this video of me like going around to where I work and like showing you guys my life in New York City and what my jobs are, but I feel like I wasn't myself in it and I looked back on it and I was like, this is kind of annoying. I don't know if I, Mostly just the intro clip, I talk for like 15 minutes in the beginning about this one job and I don't know if that's like interesting so let me know if you guys want to see that. It's, but the, the intro clip was just like, I had like makeup on and I felt pretty and I feel like that affected how I was talking. I was like, I don't know, <laughs> did, that, did that mean anything to you? Like, I just think that affected the way I was speaking. I don't like that at all. I have hair in my mouth. But anyways, I'm gonna have to do my skincare routine in the morning because I completely forgot last night. Actually, I didn't forget, I just passed out because I got home at like 3 a.m. the night before from my road trip, which was incredible. I went to the Big Sur all around there, um, McWay Falls, and we ended off with Hearst Castle, um, which was so beautiful. A lot of you guys were asking on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I have been posting stories. It's been fun. I'm usually not that kind of person to do that, but um, I really like it. Also, really quickly wanted to speak about life being shitty. Like, life is shitty sometimes, and I feel like we have a choice to have, like, a victim mentality to it or not. Like, people are shitty, life gets shitty, and you 100% have a choice to respond negatively or positively. So, if someone just ghosts you, if someone stops talking to you, who you liked, like, you just gotta let it go. If, if you get fired, if I don't know I don't know like what life is throwing your way but um little things like that things that's just like really dude like someone like rear ends you or someone dents your car it's just like you just gotta brush it off otherwise you're giving it power just preserving your essence and protecting your nectar and by nectar I just mean your fucking energy and your um mental stability and like all that's flowing within you like fucking protect that shit like don't don't break open for anyone don't pour out with emotion for anyone i freaking miss you it's been a while um and i just wanted to say that because like <laughs> life isn't always going to be peachy keen i feel like i've been very blessed lately i've been traveling all around just went on a road trip with my mom and sister which was incredible and beautiful and magical and i'm meeting a bunch of beautiful ladies in la collabing with sonia and megan hughes and i'm meeting jenim which is like a crazy beautiful dream that i can't believe is real um meeting my friend fia today who i love so dearly i met her on the street of new york she makes music and we had some mutual friends she was friends with lexi and we hung out and I just connected with her so much. She's such a wild, spiritual woman, and I think we're going to meditate today and go to Melrose Trading Post, which I've never been to. I have so much love in my life, and I look around me, and I'm like, wow, I created this. Like, I got to this point, and I got have some moments of being triggered here because I was so, 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 so depressed and suicidal here two years ago after I dropped out of um, school in Santa Barbara. I stayed with my mom while I was working, I don't know if you guys know this story um and i was so fucking depressed and so it's almost triggering being here and me and my mom's personalities um actually were pretty similar but there's some things 
that um, I just can't take a lot of. <laughs> like, I'm a very, like, quiet, pretty quiet person, honestly, and I can be just very... My inhale, exhale, it's just very stable, just very, like, I don't know how to say it. Like, I'm just, like, on a... I'm just calm. I'm a calm person. My mom is a little bit more, like, jumpy and, like, goes from thing to thing to thing. And, like, it almost feels like someone is, like, breathing in my ear, like, <sighs> like, when she's around. I don't know if that makes sense, but, like, it just feels like I feel the energy difference. And it really affects me sometimes. Um, that's the only thing. That and just being in this place where... I just couldn't control my emotions and the other day I just had a moment I was like dude you're not the same person anymore like that was like ages ago that was lifetimes ago you're in a completely different place your life is filled with so much love you're so much more stable you're so much more kind to yourself and um, I realized that and it felt so good and even my weight is different like I was this is when I was really really skinny when I was like 103 pounds and I was just getting cold all the time. I have this picture on my phone wearing these really thick socks and the scale said 103 and I'm like 5'6 basically so that's really light for my weight. I mean yeah for my height it's pretty light. Now I weigh 125 so that's pretty good. I've weighed 125 with the exception of when I was here. I've weighed 125 since I was like a senior in high school so I feel like that's pretty good and when I was a junior I actually weighed like 135 because I was working out or no sophomore when I was a sophomore actually I weighed 135 I was like rowing um, I did crew and my muscles were just so huge and I was like really thick and like I was so confident in myself too I embrace my body in any stage but I was totally just underweight here and that was just another thing you guys saw maybe the last video two videos ago where I was in the woods and I was like wow I'm seeing all these crazy manifestations that just has been unfolding I didn't even know I was gonna go on this epic road trip until a few days ago and I was just thinking ever since my last trip upstate New York that I really want to be surrounded by the trees again and then my mom's like oh we're going to Big Sur and I was like what okay yes and it just happened but if you are experiencing new things your life just fucking expands. It feels so, so long because you're just processing new things. You're like, I mean, it's like a pretty simple concept. I think you guys know. I just got so tired. Like I literally just looked over, my mom has a little skeleton in her living room. I looked over at the skeleton and I like just started falling asleep. Uh, my mom does acupuncture, by the way. Every time I'm with people, I feel like maybe they think I'm crazy because I'm so grateful. Like I could not stop saying whoa yesterday when i was with sonia i was like whoa whoa oh my god whoa and i was just so <laughs> getting overwhelmed with this pure love and gratitude because for this moment because it's so beautiful and i was like does she think that i'm crazy or like faking this because i'm just so happy and i can't believe that i'm witnessing such beauty anytime i'm in nature it doesn't matter where i am i just i feel so happy and i I view like all the trees around me as so beautiful and I feel like no matter where I am I can really appreciate even the little shrub on the sidewalk and be like that's fucking beautiful and epic like little life is sprung from the earth right here <sighs> it was like I just saw a double rainbow or like something crazy but I was just in in normal nature I don't know I it makes me so high dude like is anyone else like that like I just take a walk and I'm just like feeling the goodness, the high vibrational state of, I guess, the earth. And the crickets yesterday, the crickets were so loud and it just also intensified everything. Like that vibration, I was like, whoa, I don't know. I'm just a happy little, little being, I really am. I think I'm gonna do some yoga and meditate. I'm so tired, but I guess I should just keep on going, man. Just keep on keeping on. Um, I'm leaving LA in two days. It's Sunday, yeah, Sunday, Monday, leaving Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. Yeah, I'm kind of breaking out, so just don't mind that. Yeah. Thank you so much for 200K, by the way. That's really awesome. Um, wow, this is 22 minute clip. Oh my God, cool. Okay, I'm gonna end this here. But this whole thing started because I just wanted to say, life is shitty sometimes. <laughs> don't I know it. Sometimes it feels like you're not, you can't catch a break and like, everything bad just keeps happening but you really you just gotta accept it it's like the best thing you can do i know sometimes like it feels like defeat like oh i'm not i'm not gonna like just let life do this to me like i have to get angry i have to react but no just fucking bow down i i know i use that like 
visual a lot but i really see it as just like bowing down and being like thank you whatever you want to do to me fine i'm gonna stay positive just thank you i'm gonna accept i'm gonna get through this and it really it makes such a big difference and because i've been doing that with my emotions like anytime i'm, I'm feeling sad lately i fucking bow down i'm like okay i honor you i honor this this thing that's come up and i'm gonna let myself feel it completely and then it just goes away like and then a few hours later i can be happy because i wasn't repressing it and so <laughs> accepting the fact that life is shitty will make it just feel lighter you're like okay yeah like this is this happens sometimes it's okay instead of feeling like this isn't supposed to happen like how dare this happen to me yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit i know i just ended the clip but i just wanted to say and remind you guys which i always i feel like remind you and i'm always reiterating this but practice is so important like a daily little practice a daily ritual a daily meditation a daily meditative walk a daily 30 minute yoga flow so important so life-changing do it gift yourself take care of yourself this is a way of showing yourself love is finding peace within yourself and allowing yourself to make time for that um, i'm about to do some yoga and meditation and these are things that have helped keep me stable these past few weeks um i've talked about it pretty frequently that like i'm the most stable i've ever been and practice man the practice is always there and i was having a panic attack at work actually i just started crying i was just coming in waves like this trauma I was, I was triggered i was just crying and just letting it out and so my friend put a meditation on for me within 30 minutes i was good i was like laughing and i was like thank you for that like i just the practice is always there i really needed to connect with my breath and it really helped me get through what i was feeling and so i just want to remind you guys that it's an awesome thing also if you want guided meditations and you're willing to spend literally like the littlest amount of money um cb now check out the app it has amazing yoga and meditation videos i've been doing those are the ones that i've been doing every day in fucking credible and it's so cheap it's five dollars a month or fifty dollars for the whole year um if you use my code hitomi 33 percent off you don't have to use it but otherwise it's eight dollars a month and eighty dollars a year so get the 33 percent off these classes are so good they're filmed all in bali and the teachers are amazing they're funny i literally watch them i start laughing because they tell a little bit about their journey and all the teachers have different personalities and um just the meditation teacher punu felt so good and there's a oneness meditation which was like so cosmic don't do that one in the beginning of the day and this app like separates the meditations and the classes by the elements wind water fire earth ether and it's really cool to like decide whether you want to be grounded whether you want to be fired up and energetic and um yeah just find your practice through what you want it's just so personal that way and when you go to a yoga class you can't say like oh i really want to be connected to this earth or i really want to get fired up for work today like you can't just for the for the most part go and say that to your yoga instructor like in a class and she'll do that but breath work is really powerful and important and there's like a lot of cool stuff on this app there's even like stuff on tantric sex and vegan food raw vegan food so check it out anyways i'm gonna do the meditation i just wanted to let you guys know it's really helped keep me stable. I'm always preaching this message. I'm always saying this. Even if you just go for a walk, like that is taking care of yourself, girl. I'm gonna do it now. I'm just really passionate about it because I feel so good every time after I do yoga and meditate. I feel so connected with myself and then I can like laugh at the sky. <laughs> um, I was feeling down yesterday. This is when I was like feeling that little bit of triggered um, yesterday and I started twerking and that really helped <laughs> like twerking helps too like listening to good music and moving your body and dancing and being like okay I'm healthy right now I can experience this sound makes me feel good just flow through all the reasons why you should be grateful but anyways see you guys soon I don't know what I'll be doing next So I'm at Melrose on the Koi Randa What's too. up? Look at her cute ass outfit. I love it. <laughs> she said she went to Beacon's Closet in New York. When were you in New York? I like am from New Jersey and I go to school here. So are you serious? Yeah, and oh I was working God. at Paper Magazine in the city. So holy shit, what a small world. What yeah, part wait, of that's New so Jersey? Cool. Summit, New Jersey. Okay, my friend lived in Hoboken. She oh, lived I grew in up in Hoboken. Love Aww. it. Love the 
I small love fucking it. world we're in here. I love it. Yeah. I love it. I'm here with Fia, by the way. Just ran into Lydia. She's so lovely. Her and her husband just went vegan after years of vegetarianism. So always good to hear. And she's from Cleveland. So like, she's from Jersey. She's from Cleveland. We're all just here, like in LA right now. So great. I just made her like shout herself out. Wasn't recording. So. Hi. My name is Bethany, and I work at the Mellow Shading Post. Yeah, come say hi if you ever see her. We're Every right Sunday. outside. Every Nine Sunday. to five. I've been here with the purple hair. She's so cute. Yay. We're at Gracias Madre. We got the plantain French toast. And we got this like cream, like cheese cauliflower stuff. It's cashew, so I can't have it. But yes. And this is the cashew sauce on the side. It looks so yummy. And we have more food coming. I'm so happy. This is Fia, by the way, my beautiful friend. <laughs> okay. Those are all you. So. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We just finished eating. We're hanging out, just sitting on this bench. Just got bombarded by a really nice beetle. Beautiful beetle. I didn't wear makeup today because I'm breaking out really bad because I went on a road trip and I didn't do my skincare routine for like three days. And before that, I was like on a plane and I've been eating so much like shitty food. Good food, Mine oily food. Today. I'm back with Sonia. Hello. But yeah, we're just chilling. I really want to like sit on your bed again. because Oh, do it. It's so comfy. Oh my god, how do you get out of bed in the morning? Honestly, I'm allowing this to happen. <laughs> oh my god, okay, yeah, that's the update for now. I'm about to pass out. What me and Sonia are doing, we're watching a fucking Vine compilation. Yeah. Like this video if you miss Vine. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck you. Oh. <laughs>